Today I saw a video that perfectly demonstrates just how fixated people have become with social media, and just how ingrained in our DNA it is to post every second of every day online for validation from complete strangers. It's reaching a point where it's becoming like an obsession for a lot of people to post everything all the time. And I swear to God, drinking an entire gallon of mercury is less poisonous than spending an hour on Twitter. You could be boofing arsenic and it'd still be less detrimental to your overall health than just doom scrolling social media. It's getting out of hand. And the video that I'm about to show is a babysitter who gets in an argument with the father of the child that she's babysitting because the dad is upset that she posted a photo of that child on Instagram without telling him. And when he's confronting her about it, like, hey, can you take it down? I really don't like that you did that. She's fucking flabbergasted. She's dumbstruck. Her whole universe collapsed. It was like she had just seen a ghost. Like, aliens had just fucking invaded and blew her mind. The whole concept that this father didn't want pictures of their child posted online for strangers to look at blew her away. And she got extremely aggressive about it, even calling him a pedophile because he saw that she posted that. Shouldn't be posting photographs of my children on Instagram. Well, she looks really cute in it. She does look really cute, but why are you putting it on public? Anyone could be looking at her. No one's gonna think about, no. Your address isn't on there, your phone number isn't on there. What is it's just her face. This caption here is going insano style. The parents I babysit for got annoyed I uploaded a picture of their child. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty reasonable thing to be annoyed about at the very least. The fact that she posted this herself, once again, is delusional. People film their worst moments and post them online thinking they're right and expecting people to pat them on the back about it. Like, wow, what a champion. You really showed that father that posting a photo of his daughter online was actually a good thing and he was stupid for thinking otherwise. She's just living in fantasy land here. Like, this is a load of dirty barnacles. She is 100% in the wrong and it's inarguable. It's totally understandable that the father would be upset. It is absolutely his choice whether or not photos of his child get shared online. It's not the babysitter's choice. There's no argument in her defense here. It's completely understandable why this father wouldn't want pictures of his child posted online without his knowledge. I, I, I completely respect anyone's decision not to post photos of their loved ones or their children or anything online. There's fucking weirdos out there. You don't know who's looking at that shit. It's not some kind of social obligation that you have to share everything from your life with the cyber world, the cyberspace. So it's just, you know, it's unnecessary, and if you don't want to partake in that shit, then don't. In fact, I encourage you not to. I don't think you need to be oversharing everything about your life online. Now, another thing I find very fascinating here is the babysitter says that she didn't share a phone number or address anything, and she's stunned that this is, is even a problem. She only shared a picture of his child. The child's face and everything is now out there in public, and that's not a big deal. Which is wild to think of how quickly this mentality has shifted. I remember when social media first started to pop off, first started to get gas in that fire. The general consensus, not just shared with the geriatric octogenarians, but even like my classmates and everything, was don't post too much shit about yourself online. Like don't tell people your name on the internet. Don't put pictures of your face on the internet outside of like your tight MySpace group because there's strange, creepy people out there, some fucking freaks, and you don't want them to have that information. There could be some bad actors. That has completely vanished from the general mindset. Nowadays, it's considered creepy if you're not sharing photos of your face and updates on your life all the time online. You must be some kind of socially anxious weenie. Some loser. It's, it's my child. And it will go in 24 looking. hours anyway. Well, why are you even following me? Well, I follow loads of people, but that's not the point. Well, you don't follow your babysitter, that's weird. Well, I do follow my babysitter, and it's just as well I am. We One photo. We're not going to pay you until you take that photo off. So. so she was scrambling around in the dark and thinks she found a diamond here to use against this guy for ammo. Why are you following me on Instagram, hmm? You have something to hide, tough guy, you fucking creep? So she's 16 years old, and now this guy follows her on Instagram, so... She's about to start accusing him of being a pedophile, some kind of low-life scumbag. Who follows their babysitter on Instagram? And I think that is so weak. I, I think that is an absolutely dog shit point she tries to make. There's a perfectly logical explanation for why the father would follow a babysitter on Twitter. This person is going to be a home alone with their child. They want to make sure they didn't just hire Jeffrey fucking Dahmer or something. There, there's going to need to be some level of background checking. And what's the best way of doing that? 
going to their social media where they share absolutely everything. It's a good way of gauging if this person is even safe to be around your kid and can be trusted. Now, if this father was commenting on all of her Instagram posts and leaving weird emojis, obviously then we'd have a problem here. Then we'd have ourselves an EDP situation. But from everything in this video, that's not the case. He just follows her on Instagram and saw that she posted this photo of his child. Well, I'll just stay here until you pay me then. What are you going to do about it? Give me that phone now. I'm not, no, phone. I'm not giving you my phone. There's all sorts of freaks. Loads of my friends do it that babysit. Well, they shouldn't be doing it. Why? It's, it's literally just a photo. Look, the North is full of Stop posting. Well, yeah, you tonight. being one. Why are you following me? I'm a 16 year old. I'm not. I'm not like that. So give me trash. Complete trash. To say the father is a pedophile because now you're getting offended that he's upset at something you did wrong is beyond stupid. It's so fucking dumb. Now, him threatening to not pay her till she deletes the photo, I think is totally reasonable. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You have done something very much against what you were hired to do, and you won't be compensated until you just do the bare minimum of deleting the photo. It's a super simple request. You shouldn't have taken the photo or posted the photo without talking to the father first. So the least you can do is take it down and then receive your payment for this and wash your hands of the situation. It's, it's just so easy, but she's making a big fuss about it, making a, a whole song and dance out of it. That phone. Well, why have you got Instagram in the first place? How old are you? You shouldn't be even babysitting. You haven't got a DBS. You hired joking? me. Didn't realize there was an age limit on Instagram. Like, she's just so lost in this sauce now. Oh, you're so weird. You have an Instagram. How old are you? Goofball, huh? You ancient fossil stupid goober. You have an Instagram? You're going to jail. Hope you like going to the slammer, you fucking pedophile. Wait until I call up the police and tell them that a 45-year-old man has an Instagram, huh? Yeah, they might just come over here and execute you on the spot via firing squad for your pedophile crimes against humanity. Signing up for Instagram when you're 40-something years old. Despicable. Are you joking? I'm 16 years old. I'm That's still in shocking. school. So you could be doing anything. To... Well, you know me. I'm not like that. I'm shocked. We're going to have to tell everyone that you're a bad babysitter. I can't believe I'm here. Well, I'll this. tell everyone that you follow me on Instagram. I'm a 16-year-old girl. How's that going to work out for you? Threatening to just call this guy a pedophile to society because he's refusing to pay you for something you did wrong. He's just very simply asking you to remove the photo. He's not even being like over the top aggressive or mean about the situation. Like his only threat so far is we're going to have to call you a bad babysitter. Like that's something you say to your dog when you're disciplining them after they pee on the floor. Like bad dog, please don't do that again. I don't like cleaning up pee, please. You know, d just don't do it again. It's easy. You know, like he's not even being like an asshole here. He's 100% in the right. He is completely justified in being annoyed and frustrated with her. And yet he's still going to pay her. Assuming, of course, that she just takes down the photo, which is super easy. It's super simple. Like, it, everything she's doing is so over the top and downright criminal to falsely accuse this guy of being a pedophile. I don't know what to say. I'm shocked for words. All I want to do is, would you please just take that photograph off Instagram and we can move on from this. You could get your money. You could go home. Isabel could be safe. Is that it then? Just take the photo down and that's it? You give me my money and I go? Yeah. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Well, yeah, that's fine then. Ah, uh, finally, a happy ending. A great, satisfying conclusion here. She gets paid for the babysitting job and they both go their separate ways. End of story. Until she posted it all online. For TikTok clout, I guess. It, she should have been feeling overwhelming embarrassment from this whole situation, and yet she felt pride that she'd be getting a lot of internet likes for it because she stood her ground against an unreasonable father or something, I guess. I don't even know what angle she was trying to go with here. She just looks really fucking awful here. She looks downright evil. To just blatantly, like, go on this tangent about how this guy's a pedophile because he followed her on Instagram is so crazy to me. It, the whole thing is just so wild. And I'm about to make a really obscure reference that I feel like a lot of people aren't going to pick up on or appreciate. But the father in this video really sounds like the Duck Brothers from Courage the Cowardly Dog. It, they were only in like one or two episodes, but they're the ones that are like, Stop laying eggs! We're Duck Brothers! Th those guys. He sounds just like them. So I don't know if he's done voice acting in his past, but he is like extremely close to their, their uh, voices. 
it has nothing to do with anything. I just wanted to get that out there before I forgot to mention it. But yeah, I think this is just a perfect demonstration for how distorted people's perception of reality has become. There is nothing wrong with not wanting your child's picture online or your picture online or anyone's picture online or information about themselves. Privacy is still a good thing. Privacy is still a great thing. I don't know why privacy has been vilified all of a sudden. I think it's great. Keep things to yourself. You don't have to post shit online. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. That's it. See ya.